Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot. We're just going to jump right in and see what's going on here with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you here, Leo? Okay. Now, keep in mind, Leo, that this is a general reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. So, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer um, same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Leo, so it looks like here that in regards to who this is that you are dealing with, um, they they start out pretty emotionally disconnected and distant from you here, um, you know, and keeping to themselves and just kind of quiet, maybe ghosting you a lot or just kind of not really being involved in much. Um, at the same time, for some of you here, like they could be kind of trying to seek some counseling or guidance or some help to figure out what they want to do about them and you. They could, you know what I mean, and just kind of trying to keep to themselves about a situation, but still feeling emotionally disconnected from you. But it looks like for some reason, that's where there's a lot of, that's where they choose to either purposely want to be conf conflicted, conflicting and start drama and conflict with you and problems, or they just feel this way. There's something frustrating or, and or irritating going on with themselves, within themselves and about you and them, whatever it is here. But then that fast, I don't know, unless they're trying to compete for you, maybe, I don't know, because then there's a lot of passion here. Then they have a lot of passion and they're wanting to pursue you romantically and or they do like you or they think it's fun or that, you know, maybe it's a healthy competition. I don't know. They have fun with you. They care for you, whatever it is. They want to be your friend or whatever. And then this is where they have like a sense of financial independence, though, and they just kind of want to be more so independent and on themselves with themselves and focused um and fun and or flirtatious or like live their life on their own but still have you there and around you know what i mean so i don't know if it's like them flirting with you or them just kind of wanting to live that single life but you're kind of there sometimes either or here i don't know um it could also just be them you know wanting to approach you pretty quickly here so either or i don't know Okay, so it looks like here that they're more so focused on their position, their own position, their job, wealth, money, status, business, whatever they have going on here, but also, and maybe possibly relaying something to you, saying something to you, you know what I mean? Um, some sort of a message or like being inspired or motivated to do something or say something, take action here with you or towards you. Now, whether with it's the connection that, you know, they have with you or relationship or, you know, whatever's going on here between them and you or them and someone else, I don't know here, but I do see here that it's, it's, there's something in regards to that. Regardless of what it is, they do choose to still be involved here with you in some way, shape or form. That's where there's a lot going on of problems, maybe drama or frustrations, anger, irritation. I don't know. It's like that's where a lot of things get really confusing here for this person. And there's a lot going on, a lot, a lot being said possibly here. So possibly maybe verbally attacking or being aggressive and or them just kind of keeping it to themselves. This is where they choose to kind of focus on their own investments and finances and, you know, and figure out what it is that they need to do or they can do about whatever's happening here. Hmm. It looks like they choose to just kind of go quiet about the situation, but stay really like cold and reserved about it with you and towards you. And also them still feeling pretty confused, honestly, and conflicted of what to do. But also them trying to figure out their options of the situation too.
whole stack that just fell out or chunk here. So hold on. Okay, so with them trying to consider their options to figure out what to do, it looks like they still end up being very confused about whatever is happening, communicating, feeling blocked off, possibly maybe they did get blocked or, you know, or they're blocking you, whatever this is here, and them having to make a decision and a choice. And then that's when it gets really frustrating and irritating or confusing or whatever it is, or they just bully you or get aggressive or there's a fire, an argument, I don't know. But it looks like it puts them in them, their strength. And then there's something here about maybe having to do with legal matters, court stuff, and or contracts possibly, or just them having to make things neutral and balanced here. This is where they end up kind of seeing the perspective between the two of you and knowing what's going on. And then knowing, basically reflecting on it all. And it looks like them wanting to kind of move forward for the sake of a new love, new beginning, a new chapter here with you and or maybe with someone else. For some of you, it's with someone else who's their ex or someone else from the past. And others of you, it's, it's you know, them approaching someone like that. And or this is someone from your past. This is an ex trying to find a way to approach you again. Okay, either or, but it doesn't have to be. But regardless here, they're moving forward and on a journey to kind of like, you know, make things a lot more calmer here. Like I said, either because they have new love with themselves, they want a new path with, you know, new journey, they're on a new path, a new journey, they have this love for you and or um, maybe for someone else, I don't know. But it's for, you know, there's something here that brings a lot of nostalgia, a lot of happiness, something from the past, and then, you know, having like an idea, trying to kind of like create something here or offer something possibly here to you. It looks like for, you know, a lot of you, it's them kind of working hard towards building more towards this relationship that you guys have whether it's business whether it's friendship whether it's current marriage or relationship um or they want to be with you again and or just be with you and just make commit and like make the friendship more and deeper whatever this is here that's what they're working towards is being with you and committing to you here okay um unless there, it's a marriage outside of you i don't know or a relationship outside of you but they're still working to like they're still willing to kind of still be in, in you know more so involved and in, intertwined into your life so that's why all right you could be dealing with a virgo taurus capricorn aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio gemini libra Aquarius. thank you bye